before setting up your access control system, there are some things that we highly recommend that you do. Uh, one of these things is going into the server settings in Access Camera Station to set up the uh, Camera Station server to be an NTP server for all connected devices. Time synchronization is very important in Access Control solutions. What we also want to do is to create a certificate for enabling HTTPS communications to our door controllers. I generate a certificate authority to be able to enable the HTTPS communications to the devices. Uh, we don't want any access control sensitive events being in clear text over the network, right? It is good to remember the passphrase so that it is easy to set up. Now we can start adding devices to our system. Firstly, I select one of my two A1601s and give them a name in my system. Main controller for, for one of the controllers and the secondary controller for the other one. Now these can be added to Access Camera Station just as you do with any type of other device. We'll do a quick configuration here and the installation is finished. Now you can find your devices under the management uh, setting. Uh, and here now you see that we are on 1.84 firmware, which is not the compatible firmware for camera station. So I click on the update firmware button here. And uh, in the final release, the firmwares will be available under the secure entry track. Uh, so where you see other here, it will actually say secure entry and you will be able to select the firmware is compatible with that solution. Important to remember is to do a factory default when you're doing this upgrade from firmware 1.84 to the compatible secure entry firmware. Once the firmware has been successfully upgraded, now we can enable HTTPS for communications to the devices. This is something that we highly recommend uh, in your access control environment, uh, especially with your access control environment, because there's a lot of sensitive data uh, transpiring between the server and the controller.